What is up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we are going to look at an auto clicker for the pc for ray chain legends super easy to set up and it will take less than three minutes to get it up and running um i know a lot of people use rsl helper and that is one of the best you know pieces of kit you can use for ray chain legend however if there's a big patch or it goes down for some reason and it can take fast off you know a day or two to get an update so it starts working again. We need to have a backup. Everyone needs to have a backup. You know, auto clickers are the biggest game changer for raid. You know, being able to farm gear overnight or just if you know, if you're out and about, no one wants to manually just be sitting there tapping away. You just want to let it run, come back and get your gear or get scrolls for your champions or whatever it is. Just hit play and walk away. Um, so the one that we're going to be using is called Auto Hotkey, and it's, well, I only really know the basics, but it's enough just to get it to do what I want it to do. If anyone does know, like have any more advanced scripts or anything, please drop a comment below because, you know, I'd love to share them with the community. And the script we're going to use today, I will just share it in a comment below, which you can just copy and paste it and start to use it yourself. But yeah, real, real game changer. So let's hop onto the website and get it up and running. So all we're going to do is just type into Google auto hotkey download. It's the first link. And then we're going to hit download. And we want to use the older version. For some reason, the script doesn't work in 2.0. So we're going to use version 1.1 deprecated. Click that. It takes a couple of seconds to download just let it, let it do its thing and it should be ready there we go just give it a left tap and we're going to do a custom install so i actually prefer to use the 32-bit version and then you know this is where we choose you know this is like standard stuff it's just going to go in the c drive you can put it somewhere else if you want to hit next Yep, these are the two that we want. Then we're gonna hit install and that's it. Bang, it's done. So then the next thing is we need the script. So this is the script right here. I'm gonna open it with notepad. And for you people out there that don't know this, notepad is an, um, yeah, you can use this to hack files. Notepad is an absolute boss. And I think a lot of people don't know this, but um, yeah, so this is basically the script. Um, so I'm just going to make a new script. So we're going to do new, uh, choose text document. We're going to call it spam R all day, all day long. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to edit this script file. You guys won't do the same as me. You'll just copy and paste this from, from the uh, pinned comment. So we've made this new text document and we just copy and paste that in and that's it. We just need to save it and you're done. Um, so loop just means that it's just going to keep replaying the script. Send R means it's going to keep hitting the R bottom. So how this works, and it has to be Polarium Play, by the way. So in Polarium Play, um, if you press R on your keyboard, um, it replays the last like dungeon run or whatever you've done and that's how it works and then sleep just means 500 just means 0 0.5 seconds so every 0 0.5 seconds is going to spam r return i don't know i guess it just means it keeps running uh fa is basically what we use to make it go and stop and then the lot yeah so just need to save it and then the last thing we need to do is just rename it and in here we're just going to call it a rhk file hit enter yes we want to change it and then it gets a red h so that means that it's been converted into an auto hotkey file and if we just double left click it it's now running so if you look on my desktop wherever there's an r and i do apologize my desktop is an absolute mess uh but i am a man that's how we roll uh but yeah so you can see there's just uh wherever there's an r it's getting tapped at the moment so i'm going to press f8 to turn it off Gonna open up um, Raid. Let's click on Minotaur, do some Minnow runs. 
and this is like the team that I run. Uh, yeah, got quite a few champions to gear up. So if you look at the bottom right, you can see there's a red H. That means it's turned off right now. So if I press F8, it goes green. That means it's back on again. And now we can just sit here in peace and just let it do its thing. And it's just going to speed farm Minnow now for us. And that's pretty much it. It's so easy to do. And yeah, you cannot get banned for doing this. Polarium want people to use auto clickers. It's good for them. You know, probably 90% of the player base is using auto clickers. Um, but more people, you know, everyone should be using them. Uh, the only downside on this is that it can't really be used for campaign. I, I do use it for campaign, but you need to keep an eye on it. You have to manually swap out champions. You have to sell gear. So it's not as good as RSO Helper. Again, it is just to have a backup. But I still, like for me, I love it. I use it all the time. Um, on Minotaur, obviously, you want to be careful. You don't want to uh, over scroll your champions. It can't do that. Um, and the other thing that's great about this is if I just show you campaign. Um, so like I said, I don't use it for campaign, but because I'm using it for dungeons, Minotaur, Sand Devil, Shogun, all of that good stuff, um, it means I've got a whole bunch of multi-battle passes. So 4.7k, that's not bad. That's going to last me a long time. So that's the alternative. So if RSA Help is down, I will actually use the multi-battles that we get. And you can stack these up so easily when you've got an auto clicker. But anyway, that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.